Okay, so in this case, we have a sling here with a mass of 70 kilograms. We have a high cup with a mass of 80 kilograms. We have a cable with a mass of 8 kilograms. And this is being accelerated upwards with some acceleration by a helicopter. Now the forces acting on this hiker are the tension force, which is acting upwards, and his weight force acting downwards. He's attached to the sling and he's also got his own mass. So we should really consider these two together. Now the hiker sends a pulse up this cable. It takes the pulse 0 0.250 seconds to travel the length of the cable and the length of the cable is equal to 15 meters. So we can use this to work out the tension in the cable. We know that the velocity is equal to the square root of the tension over the mass per unit length. The velocity is equal to the distance traveled which is 15 meters over this time. So that's equal to 60 meters per second is the velocity of the pulse. Now the mass per unit length for the cable is equal to 8 over 15, which gives us 0 0.5333 kilograms per meter. So substituting this in, we have that the tension is equal to V squared mu, just rearranging this, and now that's 60 squared times 0 0.5333. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with 1,919 newtons as the tension in this cable. Now the total mass acting on the hiker and the spring, mass of hiker plus the mass of the sling times the acceleration, the total force is equal to the tension force, which is acting upwards, plus the mg force, but that's acting downwards, so it becomes minus. So mass of hiker plus mass of sling times g. Okay, now we can solve this to work out the acceleration. So acceleration is T over mH plus ms minus g. So this is 1,919 over 80 plus 70 minus 9.8. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with 3.0 meters per second per second. It's the acceleration upwards of the helicopter.